Wow, boom, saga, laga, boom, manga, laga. Everything is shaka. Well, guys, she's laughing at me. I've tried. I've <laughs> tried. Anyway, that's Blue Ivy's rap game. This kid has music out. It must be nice to be a daughter of a music mogul. Just jump in, just into studio anytime you want. And to cool about boom shaka laga, <laughs> everything shaka. Yo, can I just say, I am so glad. It's not, it's his birthday today and he's not a rapper. It's fine. Do what you gotta Stick to your day jobs. <laughs> But here on the Yellow Culture TV, you're wondering who are these people who are all kitted up in all white everything and the beautiful lady with the mustard skirt? Well, it is False Bay College students, so please tell all your neighbors and your friends that uh, the future chefs are in the building. How are you guys doing? Good, thanks, Anil. Look, she's so shy. She's like, I'm okay. <laughs> Don't be shy, relax. Let's have a good conversation. Yeah. You guys <laughs> recently won a competition. Tell us, how was that and what did you guys really win? <laughs> I, I, always I, say, I always say ladies first, guys. <laughs> General rule. Which ladies one? First. Let's start there. Okay. <laughs> um, it was a, the first Thursday of the month. We were invited by a non-profit company called Western Cape Fine Foods Initiative yeah. to have a cook-off against Capsicum Culinary School. Okay. Um, basically, what that was all about was the Western Cape um, Fine Foods Initi Initiative called us in and they showcased, gave us a basket of ingredients. That is basically a company that has members and um, each member has a product that they um, developed or marketed. Mm. And we got a basket with a whole lot of ingredients yeah. and we made, well the students made up a whole lot of meals and um, dishes comprising of those ingredients and products. Mm. And we pre-prepared them at the college and we brought him through to the minister Alan Windy's office in wow. Long Street which oh, was quite wow. exciting yeah. quite nerve-wracking um, and they started preparing the dishes and laying it out putting it on the platters and guests started coming around tasting them mm. and then they first came and they um, judged us on the mocktail and they judged on the main course as well as a banting dessert, which was one of the products of the companies. Okay. And um, yeah, Duncan will tell you more about the mocktail. Yeah. Oh, okay, um, wait, so you saying students, are you like... Uh, I'm the lecturer. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm the one who trained them the day before and got them deciding what to make and how okay. to make it and how to um, put it all together, yeah. you know, to fuse and infuse the different ingredients, ingredients. and products to make little canapes or a mm. main course di dish and um, the banting dessert. So yeah. you are the mastermind The mastermind behind the <laughs> winning team. The winning team. <laughs> I'm just I, the trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask the students, how was the experience of being in the competition working together? Okay, we faced some challenges. I mean, we got there and we didn't know who we catering for. We, yeah. the, we didn't, I mean, the type of customer food preferences, we knew none of that. We basically had to just use our innovation. Yeah, and trust then, yourself. Yeah, and also we got there and then play some good competition from, from Capsicum. Mm -hmm. They had some good some good chefs, put up a good challenge, but we as a team, we liked a good challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so you show up at the top. Yeah. You saw you guys won the whole, you won the competition, which means you were, you were crowned the king <laughs> and the queen. Queens. Were you guys the only two or do you have like a huge team behind you that helped you to work together and, and actually get crowned to be the queens and the kings? Um, well, there's only the four of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ethan as well. Yeah. So we went into the competition. Where's yes. Ethan? Where's Ethan? Though? Ethan, where this are you? This is his time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to... He's unfortunately working today. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. okay. No, it's I, okay. I would like to know... Why do you think, guy? Why do you think you, as Falls Bay College, you've won the competition? What makes you guys so special that you've won the competition? Because I'm sure each and everyone who became part was so brilliant. Mm -hmm. But what made you guys the winners? The winners. Hello. Um, what made us um, win the competition is that it was teamwork. We worked mm -hmm. together well as a team. Um, when we started off, we first everyone was just scattered everywhere, but then the guys would on the busy with the cocktails and the mocktails and the the chai latte and then the, the two us the two ladies we were busy with the main course and the dessert mm. and the starter so there's already we we worked together as a team and even though it was split that that 
power of the team yeah, is team being like the is there. Was he? And then you guys were like, thank you for that secret ingredient, teamwork. <laughs> now I know That's the secret That's ingredient. That's the secret. And so what was your favorite part of the competition? Um, I think it would be working under pleasure. Yeah. yeah. And interacting with different people. Yeah, that's about that. Yeah. Like um, going to college and saying to your parents, I want to, I want to become a chef. I want mm. to cook for the rest of my life. Parents will be like, ah, but you can just you sit can here. You can do it here in this house here, and, and do other us. things. Why do you do other things? Why did you guys choose this journey of becoming chefs? <laughs> um, I enjoy uh, serving customers. It's not, really, it's not just a chef. Yeah. Of course, we also well equipped front of us, customer service. So I'm a people's person. Mm. I enjoy meeting new people, serving them. It's what I, I enjoy it. Mm. Yeah. And then um, the lecturer, what do you enjoy most about working with these people and also just personally? For me, it's more seeing the success of my students. Mm -hmm. um, we put a lot of time, a lot of effort into planning our lessons, mm -hmm. planning our practical lessons, yeah. and seeing what they pulled together on the first, on the sixth of July. It was heartwarming for me. Mm. It was, it was a proud, like a proud mama moment yeah. because I felt like those were my little chickens, and they are the <laughs> ones who pulled through, and they did their best. Yeah. So it's feeling that moment of proudness mm. and knowing that they are going to make a success even from here on out. Um, just to, sorry Snilo, yeah. just to stick on that, making a success out of um, this line of career, we know that there are small career paths that we are restricted from pursuing, yeah. like being a, an artist or being a chef or what would you say to someone who's watching now who wants to pursue this line of um, Not career? to give up. Yeah. yeah. That is the key. Don't give up. If you believe in what you really want to do, there are many institutions, such as False Bay College. We mm. have five campuses. Um, the Musenberg campus is just one of the five that hosts the hospitality and tourism mm. um, courses. And go out, follow your dream, do what you feel passionate about, because yeah. you are undoubtedly going to make a success. And this is what these three, and Ethan, who's absent with us, they have that passion and that drive mm. for cooking. Yeah. And they've proved that to me on mm. the 6th of July. Yeah. That they can do it. <laughs> so you guys have won a competition. We'd like to know what's next for, for you guys. Okay, so what's next is we, we are finishing off our N6 program in hospitality and catering. So we need to do our 18 month in service training practically in the work in the workplace. So this is a great opportunity to um, to broaden our skills and a great platform to shake to showcase what, what we made of and what falls by college or what we uphold. Mm. Amazing. Thank well, once so again, much. congratulations for winning that competition and I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. It's his birthday. We were hoping that you guys would bring, bring a cake. Are you going to bring a cake for me? I was just That is fine. <laughs> right now, thank you so much, guys. Right now, I'm going to take a quick breather and then return this more right here next day. But I, no, there's actually something we need to do about client Oh, yes, most break. definitely, man. If you have a matric certificate and you're over 21 and are able to start immediately and are unemployed, yeah. more sp specifically, you can be clientele's on the ground salesperson by selling the clientele product. Um, oh. Yeah, so make sure to hit us up. Um, eating Ganan. You can definitely hit us up and ask. It's cv at capetowntv.abc.net. Dot net, yeah. Yeah. And to make sure to, say, to, to actually send out your CV. And you can also follow the station social media yeah. platforms on Facebook. We are simply at Cape Town TV. They will definitely give you more details on how you can apply if you're over the ages of 21. 21. And you are willing to start immediately. immediately. And make some money, make some money. <laughs> it is a paying gig. <laughs> it is a paying gig. But right now, a quick breather. We'll do and we'll be right back.